We chose Noah Baker for your final interview because he's interested in your legacy, not to nail you to the cross. This is my last chance to speak to the American people. Clinton spoke about turning the deficit into a surplus and balancing the budget. W honored those who fought to make our country safer after 9-11 in his final weeks. And both likened themselves to Thomas Jefferson. I'd skip Jefferson if I were you. Noted. I'm going to go for Lincoln. Nearly all men can stand adversity, but if you want to test a man's character, give him power. Strong. I think so. I like this approach. You should be compassionate, unafraid to discuss your flaws. My flaws? That is where you're going with that quote, right? No. Oh, of course not. I want to talk about Clarence Parker. The, the power I've been given the past eight years is through the American people, through their stories, through their tragedy. We've been able to pass legislation like the Brandon Bill, holding police officers accountable, making our city safer. An homage to the people in Rosemead. Everyone will love that, except the people in Rosemead. Why not? Those people were starving for a meal and you gave them a thin slice of stale bread because the whole world was watching. Unemployment is at its lowest rate in a decade. Record numbers of people have moved from government assistance into the workforce. People in Rosemead and elsewhere are better off than when I took office. Based on the numbers. Is there something else I should base it on? Have you been to Rosemead in the past eight years? North Philly, South Side of Chicago, the D? The D? <laughs> That's a no. You're saying the numbers are wrong. I'm saying they're just numbers. Clarence Parker is not a number. He also doesn't speak for every black person in America. Who exactly do you think you're talking to? If you feel you're on the right track, sir, it's your speech. Do you need anything else? That's all.